All right, I had this knife dropped off to me the other day. Um, they said it wasn't working. And of course, yes, it's not working because it's uh, jammed with gunk. You can see all the gunk that's on there. Um, and you can even see after, when I was unscrewing the screws of how dirty it is. That's was all the junk inside the screws. You've got junk inside here. You can't really see inside there, but there's junk inside there, all coated inside. Of course, if you use anything sugary to cut with, you're gonna cut an apple or any of that stuff. If you retract the blade into the mechanism, of course, it's gonna cause all that sugar to gung up your, your knife, and you're gonna have to open it. Uh, we always advise to clean these knives about every six months. You wanna take them apart, clean them, so I'm gonna do that and we'll see how she turns out afterwards. All right, so we use a little bit of solution here. This is just uh, Dawn soap, a little bit of Dawn soap, a little bit of vinegar, um, some alcohol, and hot water, okay? And really, uh, you can just, you know, clean it. You can get water all over your knife. Just don't let it soak. I mean, you, I mean, you can still soak, I should say. You don't want it to, once you are going to be done, you know, dry it, um, fully dry the knife so that there is no water. And then you can put some oil on it as well. Uh, really use gun oil, you can um, use, you know, even even olive oil. I mean, just some kind of oil on it um, after you get done uh, cleaning it so that it doesn't uh, have any surface rust or anything to come out because it is of course you're stainless steel but stainless steel still can get some surface rust on it as you can tell this one's really clean um so you just clean it we let it soak in here for maybe you know five minutes or so and then clean all the parts um get it all nice and clean and put it back together all done got them all cleaned up um i'm not going to put any oil in this one right now a little later but uh, again, it's all dry, so we'll grab the, grab the blade here, stick it in. So this one, right at the first there, it's a little bit harder. It was super hard before. Now it goes in and out very smoothly. There was tons of junk, just like gummy stuff up inside there. So I had to actually had to use a dry erase, eraser to use up in there, magic eraser. Uh, to use up in there with a with an actual hanger rod and uh, worked so now it goes in and out quite smoothly it's back and forth and that's exactly what you want it to do so we'll put it back together whenever you put them back together you do not want them um, to be engaged at all or the spring won't go work properly so you want it open like this we'll put this nut in here that helps so it doesn't fly slip out. All right, put this in place. Make sure you give that a little wiggle. Make sure it slides in and out perfectly, which it does. Put this in right there. There we go. Put that one in right there, and then put the cover on. Perfect. I cleaned all these screws as well, so it is fully cleaned. All right, once you get it all tightened up, then we give it a little pull, and we have a perfectly functioning knife yet again. These are our older series, okay, so you can see they're shorter on the back end. They actually took off their, their back clip because they didn't want it um, anymore. And then we have our newer series. Um, and then we different have now, now we have different colors and you know we can do different kind of colors of screws. These are the brass ones. They look really good. We've got the blue ones over here. So follow us, uh, come follow us on Instagram. We'd love to sell you a knife, get one in your hands. Keep them clean though. It's always nice to keep them clean. These are the black screws. We've got all different kinds. We've got about 15 different blade styles. And uh, we'll go on Anvil Knives USA. 
Sablenize.com. Sablenizeusa.com. Thanks for watching, y'all.